Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So I hope you are all doing well and everything is going good. So in this video, um, I thought I would share uh, 10 colouring books that I haven't yet coloured in. Um, I've had them for a while and um, I've seen some videos going around which are things like, you know, 10 untouched books to colour in and um, I think Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven did that one as well as well as others and I just thought that um, I would do a similar videos. So I have got more than 10 uncoloured books in my collection but I chose the 10 uncoloured books that I'm going to make an extra effort to colour in this year um, because if I'm not going to colour in them then there's no point me having them so I um, yeah I chose 10 so let's get started then straight away so um, I'm not including these books so I'm showing you these just to say that these are um, new books which I've just got in the last couple of weeks so I'm not including this these in my list um, I'm going to hope to colour in these anyway and this is a gorgeous book by um, Angela Gonzalez the cover's beautiful it's called Sea of Colours it's such a beautiful book um, I think there are flip throughs on YouTube but if you want me to do a proper flip of this then just let me know in the comment section below so there's that one there's Mindful Journeys which I might have shown in a haul so that's not included either because I just recently got that and of course RJ Hampson's Night Garden which I am intending to colour in um, hopefully in April really um, so yeah I'm not including those so the ones I am including are those that have been in my collection for um, longer so this book here I mean you can see that I did attempt to try to put it in one of my what's in my colouring bag videos but I never got to it but I really want to colour in this book so colour some cuteness pretty blossoms I think it is a um, let's see it is a definitely an Amazon printed book but um, what about the publishers let's have a look yeah Black River Art I, I thought it might have been Black River Art Carlon Douglas so yeah these are grey scaled um, images that's of course landscape but they are so cute um, oh look at that I could just imagine doing these in pencil or even inks because they're quite um, they're not as detailed so you get two copies of each um, image I think all the landscape ones are at the back but this one's one that I'd picked previously to colour and I never got round to it of course it's an artistic one um, so definitely um, of interest but yeah I really do need to colour in this one I can imagine using pencils uh, inks maybe even gel crayons um, glitter obviously there has to be some glitter about and maybe even pastels so yeah colour some cuteness pretty blossoms um, another one that I haven't coloured in which I need to is the mystical lands of Kelswich along the arcane path by Karen E Myers so I think this one might be the latest one although I'm not 100% sure I do really like this whispering wood trail I think you get two copies of each book sorry each book each page again um, but I love the style of the pictures um, these are more detailed that one stands out to me a lot Hagmar's flower shop um, I mean I would still try to use ink tents in here but probably instead of activating it or dissolving it with water I'd probably use an alcohol blender because I know that that does work or or even a derwent blender because I've done that in the past before um, the paper might go a little bit crinkly but nevertheless so there's some lovely pictures in here I like colouring maps um, but I'm not sure I'll do that one first um, it's a lovely nameplate page so yeah I've got to I mean this one looks like a nice one to me or maybe and this one looks very um, whimsical 
so yep yeah, the mystical lands of Kelswich that's another one then another one I haven't coloured in is this one here quirky collages to colour colour by design originals and it's by Don Stewart so um, I think I have got a flip of this on my channel now what you have is it says here on this side um, actually it says on the here this side it's got a little quote the butterfly counts not months but moments and has time enough um, and then it tells you who it's by that quote and then what's in the butterfly the tig this tiger sw swallowtail butterfly is made of 24 tigers and so yeah there's like hidden objects you can see the tiger faces there but it's um it's it's got hidden objects inside it so it's like a big collage there's a crab and it's made out of lots of different things so you've got some that are landscape in fact they might yeah some that are landscape not all of them so that was a, a barber's chair so yeah it's something a bit different and I do like um, things that are a bit unique and this is definitely that so this is one which is like a paint paint palette um, oh, actually it's not it's a brain <laughs> god I thought it was a paint palette because I saw the paint brushes but yeah that's like a part, half of a brain right brain that's that's actually quite amazing uh, how it's been made out of different things so it's a bit of a unique take I think um, you have got a few coloured images which is obviously a good thing because I'll just put that like this um, you can you can sort of see what they come out like so that's the crab one gosh someone's at the door I'll be back right I'm back sorry about that there's someone at the door and there's no one home apart from me so this is a I think it's a Volkswagen Beetle look at it it's got a big butterfly there that look how nice it's come out that come out just amazing so these are glossier pages so yeah it gives you a bit of inspiration I think that's a frog and then it's got some information on blending techniques etc color theory actually need need to read that just to refresh my memory about it so yes that's one I'm hoping to color in or start what else have we got we have a nice little town 11 which i haven't even started yet so this is by tatiana bogima i've got i've got quite a few of her books um so yeah they're just lovely aren't they the little mice I think it was Amazon but it was nothing for me I haven't really ordered anything so I like this one they're just contemplating at the edge of uh, looks like a little pond or a lake and I also like this one a lot so yeah this one would be a good one to colour in So I need to colour in this one this year. Hopefully I'm challenging myself. Nice little town 11. Then I have this one which I've had for the longest time. Manic Botanic. Um, Zifflin's Tension Taming Colouring Book Illustration by Irina Vinnick. Now I did colour in one of her pattern books um, for February. So I need to, I think it's called Magic Scope, her other book. And I did colour a page in there. Not seen that one actually, not really, not not seen this one this one's a little less detailed when I say a little less detailed you'll see what I mean when you see the other pages but this one looks like a one I could actually do as well yeah this one um, I can imagine the pages would look stunning once completed but this book has been out for a you know a long time and I've had it for a while and I think I've I think what's put puts me off sometimes it don't put me off from buying it unfortunately because the images are so good but the paper quality for Amazon printed paper right I don't particularly love it um, but I'm actually getting used to it now 
Um, I'm trying not to let that stop me because, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it really. Apart from not buy it, but I like the images too much. This one's a really nice one as well. So, yeah, um, challenging colouring because it's not always, um, you know, easy to tell what's what because they're so detailed. But I really need to start this book. So, Manic Botanic. Right, what else? I have Fairy Touch of Magic. So, um, I've had these um, for nearly, actually, one and a half years, I think something like that um, and this one I've coloured in the other books but you can see here that I did have an intention of trying to colour a page in here but I never got around to it but yeah I have not coloured in this uh, Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova can't remember if I said it but this is more detailed um, and yeah I, I haven't coloured in it I'm ashamed to say but um, I think I need to with the amount that the book actually cost um, this is the one I picked out probably will be the one that I actually colour first anyway yeah it's a stunning book lovely um, thick paper um, You've all seen it, but yeah, this is um, another one that I really like, and this one here, underwater scene. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't done anything in here, and I uh, definitely need to. So yeah, fairy touch of magic, hoping to colour in that one this year. Then I have this one for the longest time, the Ink House by Rory Dobner. Because this is more like a reading book, it sort of put me off actually trying to colour in it because I don't um, colour in books that are generally not colouring books. I've not even spotted this page, these pages before um, with the insects, but it looks great. I really do like colouring insects. So, um, I think I need to colour in this book because I would love to see how it, you know, how it comes out. I don't think I will use, um, I might use, I'll probably use metallic paint, but not um, glitter. So I'm not sure how this, it's sort of a glossier paper, I think. It's not glossy glossy, but not as matte. But yeah, I think I need to colour in this one. Oh, how cute is that, the hedgehog? So yeah, I, I do want to uh, colour in this one, but like I said, um, I need to uh, just just start really. The Ink House by Rory Dobner. Then I've got this beautiful book, which I have not coloured in either. So this is Rhapsody in the Forest by Kanuko Igusa. And um, I suppose um, I've just... I don't know. I don't know why I've not coloured in this. I think, I think because the it's double sided. The paper's nice, but not as thick as I'd want it. So therefore, it limits the um, it limits the mediums I can use. Like this one's a really good one for Easter, I think. Um, but also the the illustrations are so. Um, beautiful that it's just a little bit a little bit intimidating to sort of start in it I don't really want to spoil the book either but um, like I really like this one I fought many a time starting that one but I also need to colour it realistically and I'm not um, particularly great at colouring it realistically. This is such a lovely autumn scene double page with mushrooms, a hedgehog, acorns. That would take such a long time to do. So yeah, I've also seen this page and I really like this page. I'd love to do that one. 
um, but I've seen some wonderful creations in this book by others uh, I really like this one as well the butterfly one so yeah I'm hoping to colour it in this one um, this year as well this is a lovely spring one to do I think so that's Rhapsody in the Forest by Kanuko Igusa nearly there now um, this is my ninth book so um, in a little bit so I've had this one for a while it's by Good Wives and Warriors Exotic Shirt or World I'm not really sure what that means but is it the exotic world? I'm not sure and um, so I have I did pick out a page before but never got round to it in fact this is a, a um, not a gesso um, pre-prepared page but a golden satin glazing liquid pre-prepared page because I was going to do this with um, watercolour pencils and watercolour markers or water-based markers should I say because um, I know it's a double page and it would take me forever if I just did it in pencil so yeah that's the one I picked out it is like I said pre-prepared so that one if I can get to that this year and it's got some it's got this fold out bit here amazing and then the, this is card, so really thick card. I think it's perforated, yes it is, so you can take it out if you want, which is amazing that you get that with it. And yeah, just some unbelievably um, beautiful illustrations, very detailed some slightly less detailed but I got this from Amazon UK quite a while back um, but yeah you can see that some have got black backgrounds so yeah if I do colour in this one, which I'm hoping to, it will probably be this double page that I'm going to try to do. So that's Exotic World. And then my final, final book is this Colouring Heaven um, Busy World Special. Now I've been intending to colour in this. It's um, Our artist is Colin Thompson, of course. Um, I've been wanting to colour in this for such a long time, but again, I have not got to it and I really need to make an effort to colour in it um, this year so this again is another page it's Noah's Ark and it's been um, pre-prepared -pre with golden satin glaze again because I was going to use watercolours not for the whole thing I, actually yeah I was going to because I was going to use water based fine liners for the fine details so yeah um, some stunning 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 works I mean I love Colin Thompson's work there's a few new pictures that we've not seen before in his actual Colin Thompson's colouring book but yeah I mean I've done that one in his book but yeah this I just love the detail I mean I love the detail there but you would um, need a long time to colour these so yeah that's it those are the books that I am hoping to colour in um, this year untouched books that require um, me to start them so I hope you enjoyed this shortish video until next time take care happy colouring bye